Christina Aguilera is one of the most heralded pop musicians of the past decade. Her ability to stay ahead of the curve and continually push the envelope has made her a living legend in contemporary music. When the going gets rough, every night he'll be hurting his love. He'll be giving his love, the one girl. Christina Aguilera spent her entire life searching for her star. And when she finally found it, her meteoric rise to fame was unstoppable. But success can carry its own particular set of burdens. The squeaky clean image that record executives used to market Christina's debut album was fine for the young teen at the time of its release. But she was growing into a curious young woman who couldn't help but question her lack of artistic control. After a while, it got really old to me and I felt a little fake and superficial that I wasn't being able to be who I was. With the spring 2001 release of the single Lady Marmalade, recorded for the Moulin Rouge soundtrack, it was obvious that Christina was heading in a different musical direction. Christina was heavily criticized for her sexy new image and more urban sound, but the critiques only seemed to fuel the young singer's fire. I'm a musician, I'm an artist, and I'm gonna express myself in ways that not everybody's gonna agree with all the time. You know, I can't please the whole world. Oh, overdue, give me some room. 2002 Stripped revealed an even more extreme side of Christina. The album was unveiled in tandem with an entirely new persona, one that had fans and critics alike questioning her intentions. All girls want to be rubbed the right way. <laughs> The David LaChapelle-directed video for the album's first single, Dirty, epitomized this radical transformation, and Christina soon found herself under attack for her in-your-face sexual antics. What? Everybody from Kelly Osbourne to Saturday Night Live parodied the video's brazen display of sexuality. David! Yes, Christina, what, what, what? It's just ain't skanky enough, you know, I, I ain't feeling it. It was around this time that the media began to pit Christina against anyone and everyone in a knock em down, drag em out feud. Being, you know, in the spotlight so much, everybody wants to nitpick and, and latch on to negative things about you. And it's hard, you know, whenever you're having a bad day already, to sometimes turn on the TV and see Eminem talk about you. Christina Aguilera better switch me chairs so I can sit next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst and hear him argue over who she gave to first. It's a lot to deal with in the tabloids and the gossip and yeah. those made up stories that are negative and sometimes can be hurtful and then sometimes you want to laugh at it but in the end it makes you a stronger person. It makes me that much stronger Makes me work a little bit The provocative vocalist developed a reputation for being a difficult diva whose music took the back seat to unreasonable demands and outspoken opinions. Hiding beneath this cloud of negative press was the album itself. It was a tour de force musical offering that was mature and sophisticated, revealing a more personal and edgy sound. The record was an instant hit in Canada, selling 15,000 copies in the first week and debuting at number three on the charts. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. The follow-up single to Dirty was the inspiring ballad, Beautiful, which revealed a more thoughtful and introspective side of the young singer. The song Beautiful within itself is just, it's a universal anthem for anyone and everyone who definitely feels unaccepted or discriminated against just by being who they are. The hits from Stripped kept coming. After Beautiful came Fighter. Can't Hold Us Down. And The Voice Within. The talented songstress was finding her voice. And with a legion of loyal fans behind her, Christina embarked on the sold-out, stripped and justified tour with former Mickey Mouse Club pal Justin Timberlake. It was a gigantic success. 
and garnered the coveted Best Tour of the Year award by the readers of Rolling Stone magazine. Christina was fighting back with her music. But the controversy surrounding her sexuality and private life continued to grab front page headlines. Most notably at a 2003 award show appearance when she and rival Britney Spears both shared on-screen kisses with pop icon Madonna. The controversial kisses the women shared during the performance landed them in the gossip pages for months afterwards. Confirming for many that the trio got exactly what they wanted free publicity, and lots of it. The press is just a bunch of rubbish anyway, so, you know, they never get a story right. <laughs> and it's always rumors and gossip and, and um, over-sensationalized shit. 2003's intense highs and lows reaffirmed that Christina Aguilera was indeed a fighter. Her unapologetic views on everything from female sexuality to lip syncing cemented her image as a rabble rouser. You cannot please everyone at the same time. You just have to be yourself. You know, if I was, uh, if I was conforming to staying that 17 year old that really didn't say a whole lot on a lot of subjects and just really stuck to playing it safe or the norm or being pinned as the cookie cutter, da 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 da, you know, then that would be stifling to my creativity. It's But the thick-skinned performer was about to be struck by Cupid's arrow. Love had come to town in the shape of a young record executive named Jordan Bratman. 